In an interview with Gina, Minister Valerie Patterson said that 20 duplex houses are equivalent to 100 apartments to be constructed in Bartika. I know that's not going to answer totally the um, made it full demand, but that's just one part of our initiatives, right? But they're slated for everything that we're going to do in the future, Region 7, Bartica, um, they are on board. Four miles and five miles schemes would have been the ideal area to build the 100 homes, but it is no longer a livable area for such a community. The land to build the 50 duplex houses are still to be identified by the CHNPA. Minister Patterson explains more on the four miles and five mile situation. But there is some potential, some more lands that are available. But when um, my visit there revealed that a lot of the other areas are slopes, they are swampy. And so even though in our system, under the former government, house lots are all, um, allotted, we, I could not allocate them. Because many of them are on slopes, going down to gullies. You can't give people that kind of land. Minister Patterson will make another visit to Bartika. This visit will also see, accompanying her, retired Admiral Gary Bess, advisor to the President for the Environment, who is also in charge of the Bartika Green Development Plan. He's willing to return with us to identify which area we'll now use for housing, residential housing, and which area will be identified for commercial, um, for commercial um, lots. And so that should be done. I'm not so sure if it can be done before the end of the year, but we'll push it. It will cost government $50 billion to construct 5,000 duplex houses across the country. This new housing plan by the David Granger administration is to address the blockage of 25,000 applicants. Over 17,000 persons in the country are classified as low-income household. Andrew Weeks, Channel 2, Headline News.